Hello aspirants, this is Sagar. I welcome you all to Asia. As very few days are remaining for our exam, I don't want you to waste your time in watching lengthy videos. So just simply have a glance and try to refresh whatever you have studied. So that's why I will keep my explanation as short as possible. Here inconvenience is really regretted, but the aspirants who are finding it difficult to understand can do one thing: just simply pause the video, read the content, and then listen. That will be more easier for you to comprehend. Okay, so let's start. Consider the cons correct sentences regarding model code of conduct. So first, try to understand what is this model code of conduct. It is kind of guidelines issued by election commissions for elections. It means it governs the conduct of political parties and their candidates as well. Okay, now see the ancillary. The model code of conduct is not enforceable by law. Yes, right. But however, there are certain provisions of the model code of conduct that enforce through provisions in other statutes such as uh, IPC, CRPC, and uh, it's important to know about this because election commission is arguing to make it legal binding since very long time. Okay, but this sentence is correct. This is not enforceable by law. Article three twenty four gives the election commission. the power to supervise election yes right temples mosques churches and other religious places shall not be used for election and propaganda and campaigning yes right it was introduced in maharashtra assembly election so this is wrong this was introduced in kerala assembly elections so our correct option will be a now see the explanation union of india versus harban singh jalal this was the case Which laid down the model code of conduct. It was introduced in 1962, Kerala Assembly, and these are some extra guidelines for the pa political parties. Now see the next question. Find out the incorrect sentence regarding Indian tea industry. As we know that after water, tea is the widely consumed in all over world. So and recently, five tea growing consuming countries have made a union named as a Asian Tea Alliance. see the statements india was second largest producer of tea after china in 2018 yes right india is world's largest exporter of tea so this is wrong india is fourth largest not largest india is largest consumer of tea in world yes right india almost consumes 3/4th of tea produced every year 150 to 250 cm of rainfall is required for tea cultivation yes right so our correct option will be b because we are asked incorrect see the uh, explanation that kenya china and sri lanka leads the exporting of tea india china indonesia sri lanka and japan these are the members participating countries in asian tea alliance tea is an evergreen plant that mainly grows in tropical and subtropical climates and this is the particular temperature or convenient temperature for ideal tea growing and maximum limit is 32 degrees celsius and minimum limit is 16 degrees celsius this is the convenient ph that has to be maintained by land and in black tea we are largest producer and consumer as well see the next question which of the following sentences are incorrect regarding peat land so first try to understand what is peat peat means kind of soft coal and the land which consists it in a large amount these lands are called as a peat lands so see the statements that uh, peats are composed mainly of organic may remains yes this is right for consist it consists mixture of plant materials insects and animal remains peat lands are carbonless you no know, they are abundant in carbon they cover less than 3% of full coal global surface yes right it does not found near the poles so this one is again wrong these lines are usually found usually found near the pole only so our correct option will be 2 and 4 b most modern peat bogs form in uh, high altitudes or uh, after the retreat of the glaciers the countries which are having largest peatland are russia canada indonesia usa and finland carbon storage okay 
though they are less in uh, in area still they have twice as much as carbon as in the world forest and this is some extra information see the next question what is unesco global geopark network status okay recently our geopolitical geological survey of india chose heritage locations in maharashtra and karnataka so that side is important uh, let's see the statements it helps for the development of sites and landscapes of international geological significance yes right spread awareness among society regarding resources sustainability yes right two indian sites are chose to include in unesco geolo geopark network yes right these sites are from maharashtra and karnataka recognition period of global geopark is it examined after every 4 years yes right so our correct option is d now see the explanation here you can see that uh, marys island and malpe beach and lonar lake from maharashtra these two sites are chosen in two in including geo park global geo park okay and some additional could be for more understanding between world heritage and uh, geo park world heritage promotes conservation of natural and uh, cultural sites of outstanding universal value and other hand, on other hand global geo parks gives international recognition for sites which helps protecting earth's geo diversity where local community also gets involved at present there are 147 geo parks in 41 countries okay so let's see the next question which of the following landmark case declared section of 377 of ipc as unconstitutional as we know that in last year only that uh, particular liberty is given to transgenders that they can live together and there are some other things also but still uh, recently the madras court madras high court has extended the enjoyment of civil rights especially those pertaining to marriage to trans persons which was not given to them Uh, when some section of 377 were declared unconstitutional so that side is important and the case which dealt with the now wa 377 was nautesh singh was nautesh singh johar versus union of india okay section 377 came into force during british rule which criminalized sexual activities against the order of nature the person who are having a same gender cannot do the sexual activities okay and uh, but recently that madurai bench judgment has revised the global re, uh, legal construction of gender nonblinds that solemnized the marriage between male and trans woman is valid under the hindu marriage act 1955 so and the rationale given by them was like uh, in 2014 there was a case nalsa versus union of india which held that transgender persons have the right to decide their self identified gender so that's why it is legal according to madras high court and uh, there were some other cases in options so like uh, union of india versus urban sikh jalal this case was regarding mo model code of conduct keshwanand bharati case it introduced basic structure vishaka versus state of rajasthan generated laws for women which gives protection from sexual harassment at their workplace and it is something extra information regarding ipc and hindu marriage act okay thank you for watching this is all have a nice day